What's up everybody and a very happy good morning to you. What is all this stuff? Well, you know, having that interview with the Sharpful Waffle on Thursday got me thinking. I haven't had a Belgian waffle in a very long time. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make your very own Belgian waffles. It's time to get started. All right, so in this waffle recipe for six waffles, you're gonna get 435 calories, 18 grams of fat, nine grams of protein, and 58 grams of carbs. First thing you want to do is start to preheat your waffle iron. And of course, like I always say, if you want to make the recipe go a lot faster, prepare all your ingredients in advance, and then you're just good to go. In a medium-sized bowl, I have about two and a half cups of flour here. Then I'm going to add in my salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And the last two dry ingredients are some sugar and baking powder. Now, I'm just gonna take my whisk and whisk those up. <laughs> I'm going to take my whisk and whisk those up. Hey, have you ever wondered the difference between American waffles and Belgian waffles? Well, I have, so I did a little research. Number one, the divots or pockets of a Belgian waffle tend to be larger and deeper. Number two, even though you can use baking powder and baking soda, traditionally Belgian waffles use yeast, which inherently means that Belgian waffles are going to be a little lighter than American waffles. All right, I'm done. Back to the recipe. Part two is where you get the crispy outside and the soft, chewy inside. You're gonna separate two eggs into a bowl. So I've got two bowls here. And so the egg whites are going to go into one, obviously, and the yolks into the other. As I'm doing here, you can rock them back and forth in the shell or you can let the white slip through your fingers. There's a couple of ways that you can separate them. Totally up to you. Set the egg yolks aside, and now I'm going to whip up the egg whites right until they've got stiff peaks and then stop. On to part three, we're gonna combine the rest of the wet ingredients. So as before, you've got the two egg yolks left. Now you're gonna add in your olive oil. Uh, not your olive oil, I'm actually using uh, canola oil for this one. Something that doesn't have a, a strong flavor to it, so. To that, I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beauty, it's a little bit more, don't worry about it. And before I add the milk, I'm gonna whisk this up. Then I'm gonna gradually add in the two cups of my almond milk. Add the wet to the dry. Wonderful. It is now all in there and a little bit on the table. All right, so I'm going to create a smooth batter and then we are going to fold in the egg whites and I'm gonna to switch to a spatula at that point. So you can go have these with the egg whites if you want or just dunk it all in because it's not that much but dunk it all in at one time. And then all you're going to do is literally fold. Scoop from underneath and over. Underneath, over. It's gonna take a little bit. It's totally worth it, trust me. And if you're wondering why are we doing it like this, it's because you wanna keep that air uh, in the batter. So it's gonna keep them light. Okay, this is looking fantastic. It is time to spray just very lightly the waffle maker. Now, how long the waffle will take kind of depends on the waffle maker that you have. So they take about eight to 10 minutes. Keep that in mind when you are uh, making them. I'm not gonna hold you up any longer. These are amazing. Give it a go and let me know in the comments below. See ya in the next video. Bye.